What's going on in TBA? It's me, Kenneth, and in today's episode, I'm going to show you a great substitution for a cheeseburger. What? Now, I know that doesn't sound normal to say a great substitution for a cheeseburger. I love me a cheeseburger, but y'all know I'm on the Whole30 approved diet, and I can't have dairy and the bun and things like that, so I'm going to show you how we're going to kick these burger patties up that I have right here from Six Brothers Beef. This is how they came to me. They are frozen, so these have been thawed out for the better half of the day, um, and they're perfect now for the slow and sear kettle, but I'm gonna show you how I put some awesome flavor on here and how we don't even need the cheese or the bun to make this awesome. So if that sounds good to y'all, I've got the slow and sear kettle getting fired up right now with some Kingsford briquettes and some apple wood chips, and that's the setup for today's cook. Y'all stick around. <laughs> Alright gang, we've got these USDA Prime Burger Patties. These are huge, um, ready to get prepped for the slow and sear kettle. And I'm going to hit it with some avocado oil. Before I do that, just a little bit for a binder. And it'll hopefully impart a little bit more flavor, right? <laughs> so we'll just paint that on there. All over the edges and everything. And we'll repeat with the avocado oil here. Same thing with this burger patty. Again, this is all about building some flavor profiles because I can't have cheese and I'm not gonna have that flavorful bun. So we've gotta really kick up the flavors with the ingredients we use. So I'm gonna hit it with some steak seasoning here from Young Bucks, just a light coating. And I will be sure to paint the underside with the avocado oil and get it seasoned up as well. I'm just going to show you one side of these burgers. And then y'all have seen me use this on the channel before. I've got the Dash Garlic and Herb Seasoning. This stuff's got a lot of flavor in it. Low sodium. There we go. Since we got our salt from the steak seasoning, that's perfect. So that's what these burgers are looking like. Let me touch that one up there. That's what these burgers are looking like right there. I'm going to obviously do the same exact thing to the other side. Now I do want to tell you, I went ahead and put a aluminum foil sheet under my cutting board and this just makes for easy cleanup because as we know, when we're seasoning, the seasonings just bounce everywhere. This is going to make an easy cleanup, just a simple throwaway. So I'm going to get these ready for the grill and I'll catch y'all out there. All right, gang, y'all can see the briquettes are going good. Let's go ahead and get these big old suckers on to the slow and sear kettle and get them cooking. It's kind of chilly out here. I'm going to shut this kettle down and we'll check on these in 20 minutes. We're at the 20 minute mark and these are looking so juicy. About to give them a flip. Look at all that seasoning on them. Tons of flavor. There we go. Same thing to this one here. That's looking awesome. I did move them a little bit closer to the slow and sear basket. We're running at about 300 degrees. I'm going to shut this down. We'll check on these and I'd say 15 more minutes, maybe 20 minutes. And we'll see what we're looking like. My brother does want cheese on his and I'm going to show you what else we're going to do to these burgers. So y'all hang tight. All right, y'all, it's been about 15 minutes. Wow, look at how squishy those are, juicy. Check out that beautiful color. I'm gonna go ahead and get them a nice little char on each side before we add the cheese that I talked about for my brothers. And I'm gonna baste these up with a little bit more flavor. I got some Italian dressing that I'm gonna baste these with before we put the cheese on. So like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and let these sear a little bit. Then we'll move them to that side and we'll keep adding flavors. And then before you know it, it's gonna be taste test time. Remember, we're not done cooking, so check that out. Juicy. All right, I'm gonna let these sear up and then we're gonna move them over here and keep on going. So as you can see, we got a nice little char on these patties. We're about, I'd say 75% done on cooking them. And now is where we add the extra depth of flavor on here. We've got some uh, classic Italian dressing there. I'm just going to pour a little bit of it on both. 
There we go. This smell is insane with that garlic and herb seasoning and that salt and pepper. So we're just gonna paint that on there. There we go, perfect. And we're still running right at about 300 degrees on this slow and sear kettle. And we've got plenty of heat still going. So now I'm gonna put on some uh, medium cheddar onto my brothers right there. Just like that. Let me scoot that one over a little bit. There we go. And then I'm gonna shut this down and we're gonna check on this in I'd say 15 more minutes, give or take. And uh, while we're doing that, while I'm waiting on it, I should say, I'm gonna be sauteing up some onions, some uh, jalapenos, and some mushrooms to go on my lettuce wrap. So I'll catch back up with y'all when we're pulling these off. Okay, so after these burgers have rested, I'd say about five to 10 minutes, they look beautiful, a beautiful smoky color. Nice enough crust on them from the seasoning and that sear in the slow and sear basket. We've got my brothers here with that medium cheddar on here. And then of course I didn't have any cheese on mine. I'm gonna go ahead and set his aside. And now let's go ahead and cut into this burger and see how we're looking. And then we'll assemble us some uh, lettuce wraps. I'll show you how we're gonna do that. So we're just gonna cut some nice pieces here because we're gonna wanna load up these lettuce wraps. Almost like steak pieces. Look at that. Beautiful cook. I'll take that any day. Let's go ahead and cut us some strips like I said. This is completely tender. Extra juicy. This is smelling insane with that garlic and herb and that salt and pepper. And maybe even some of that Italian dressing is part of the smell too. While I'm talking about all those flavors, since I got them sliced up a little bit, I'm gonna to top them off with just a baby amount more over the top of them. Both of the Young Buck steak seasoning and our garlic and herb. There we go. All right guys, let's assemble us a wrap. I don't know about y'all, but I'm starting to get hungry. Let's go ahead and get these lettuce wraps assembled. We're gonna start with some guacamole. This is sugar free. You can make your own if you want to, but I'm being a little bit lazy today. And I'm gonna put a good amount of guacamole Sorry if I'm covering my view there. There you go. I'm gonna put a good amount of guacamole on the bottom side of our wrap. All right, so now that we got our guacamole on there, I went ahead and sauteed up some jalapenos, onions, and some turkey bacon diced up like bacon bits. And I'm gonna sprinkle a healthy amount of that in each wrap as well. We're building textures and flavor profiles. Man, if you could smell what this uh, topping right here smells like, the bacon, the onions, the jalapenos. You can get uh, as creative with this as you want. Put whatever flavor you want in your toppings. And next, obviously, we want to go with the star of the show. Let's pack our burger slices on top. Man, this is looking great. Insane. Tons of flavor. We even got a smoke ring on our burger. So we're going to put that right on top of our avocado guacamole, I should say, and our bacon, turkey bacon, jalapeno onion mix. I gotta take a bite of this little sucker. Mm. So I can't wait anymore. Let's finish this off. And to do that, we've got some cilantro lime ranch. Use whatever dressing you prefer. amount of that on each one of our wraps here. Wow, that looks insanely awesome. And last but not least, I've got some cherry tomatoes here that I'm going to top it off with. That's what we're looking like. Let's go ahead and give one of these a try. Alright gang, I can't lie. This looks awesome. Um, not too long to make and uh, it smells insane in here. I mean, check this out. Not a bad alternative if you're trying to eat a little healthier. Let's see, which one do I want to try out? I don't even know. If you haven't had the cilantro lime ranch yet, check it out. I got it at Walmart. Enough talk, I gotta give it a bite. 
Wow, so much flavor. That USDA prime ground beef is cooked perfectly, extra tender, lots of flavor packed in there with that garlic and herb seasoning, that young buck steak seasoning. You get the creaminess from the guacamole, the pop of the tomato, the saltiness from that turkey bacon, the jalapenos, the onions, mushrooms in there. It doesn't get any better than this if you're trying to eat a little bit different, a little bit lighter. Again, appreciate y'all for hanging out with me today while I'm trying out all these new recipes. If you like what you see, make sure you leave me a comment. And until next time, peace. Y'all keep on barbecuing. I'm going to kill this wrap. <laughs>